Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone and welcome if you're new to my channel. I did Divine Mask and Divine Feminine Twin Flame Journey Charm meetings. Let's begin and let's see what message comes through. Hope you're doing well. And thank you for all those lovely messages that you wrote. Remember that reading I did when I asked you a question to mention about what you do for self-love. What are you going to do tonight for self-love? I want to see, I want to show you what I did. I want to, I want to show you what I did for self-love and it's actually for all of you. So I made something, so I'll show you what I made. I'm going to, ta-da. So you might be asking, what is this? So this is called a cornucopia. And I made it with my own hands. It took me a couple of hours to make. So this is blessings for all of you. So this is for your abundance, your prosperity. So abundance can be in all forms. So I have coins here, gifts here. Hope you can see this. So there's all these coins here. And there's butterflies transformation here. And then there's hearts here for you guys. So hearts, hearts, and then there's roses here. And these are all real, real plants. And then they have like some acorns and some jewels here. Ooh, la la, some jewels. <laughs> and then plants, so they continue to grow for you. And then I have all these pearls, so it's all this abundance for you, different types of abundance for you. So this is a cornucopia. So next time I'll make some space on my table so I can put it somewhere on here so you guys can all enjoy it. This is for all of you guys. So this is what I wish for all of you to have abundance in all aspects of your life. So this brought me a lot of joy when I was making it for all of you. So I hope you like this cornucopia. So that's what I did. Self-love because I love to do stuff for others and I love to do things like this and that brings me joy. And I thought, why not make one for Divine Feminine? So I put a lot of thought and prayer for you when I made this for you. And I told the Divine that this is for all the Divine Feminines out there. This is what I wish for all of you. So that's what I did. And thank you for sharing what you were doing for for self-love. So let's get started with the reading. I'll make space on my, I'll make space here and then I'll place it so all of you can enjoy. So next reading, most likely you'll see it somewhere here. Okay, let's see what the reading shows today. Ooh, whoa, this is really strange. Um, I see here that there is some kind of phone call that is coming in from, phone call coming in from a karmic person. This is a very unexpected phone call. This is to create some sort of block in a home, create a block for Divine Masculine here. Woo! Divine Masculine is looking good. I feel very strongly that this Divine Masculine is doing very well in whatever they're planning to do or the next step. So for whoever this resonates for, this Divine Masculine, whoever this Masculine is, they have kind of snapped out of that cycle of being stuck. This is a Masculine who is creating something that would be for generations. I see generational wealth here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's six different things that this masculine is working on at this time. Six different things that will bring about some sort of change. And I see here that it has to do with past connection with divine feminine here strength in trying to restore and rebuild 
so that when this divine masculine returns to divine feminine, they are in a very secure place. It's like masculines preparing themselves to have a life with you, divine feminine. I see this phone call going back to the phone call from a karmic person, unexpected phone call to divine masculine here. Masculine sees this phone call, this person as like they don't want to deal with this because masculine's very focused now. It's like I've already started my new beginning. I've already started something new for me. And this masculine has a lot of strength within them because they're focused. It's like I will not allow anybody to become a distraction. I will not allow to anything to take away my time, my energy. Because this time and energy is very precious to me at this moment. And I feel like this divine masculine is a king in this reading. Because I see here a very protective mode. Like this divine masculine is very protective over what they're doing. Over their finances. Over their plans. Over their goals. Over their, their dreams. Their work. Their desire. Their love. They're very protective it's like they they're on a mission <laughs> your masculine's like i got all my things in order i've got my gear it's like the protective gear in place it's like i'm going to protect myself i feel like this masculine has their armor on it's like they are they are strong this is a div divine masculine who's a king it's like i'm going to protect my kingdom I'm here to protect. If I need to be the one who stands up for my kingdom, it's like they're not going to rely on anybody else. Though they are the king, it's like they're not going to rely on, on other members of their kingdom to, to do what they need to do in order to protect the kingdom. I see here Divine Masculine's like, I'm a one-man band or woman. <laughs> So this masculine, they are, they are tired of this, this karmics. I feel like their conversations, the way that they do things, uh, this, this masculine has really figured this person out. I see here that they have a lot of knowledge, understanding. They, they know who I still, wow. It shows very clearly. They know who I see here, who this person really is they know who this karmic person really is there's no confusion there's no there's nothing hidden here it's like masculine's like already know knows and that's why this masculine's like i'm going to do what i need to do to get my life going i'm not going to let so and so stop me or or put put things on hold for me or delay my progress because this masculine's focus on a mission, they want to get things going, they want to get things done. It's like the amount of time that was wasted, it's like they're making up for all those years. It's like if it took your masculine maybe 10, 15 years to figure out what they now know, it's like I'm not going to waste the next month or the next year of my life by going back to, to where I once was. It's like, I already know I wasted time there. Why am I going to go backwards? I'm not going to take a chance with something that I know is not going to work out or, or that has been, I feel like, delaying my progress. This masculine has spoken. Like, the king has spoken. It's like, I have spoken. I've made my decision. I'm not going to allow anybody to, I feel like, cross boundaries. I feel like this masculine is like telling the palace guards, like, close the gates. Do not allow this person to trespass into my kingdom. This masculine is very, I feel like very protective. I see her a very strong energy as like the king. Because divine feminine in this reading, you are the queen. It, it only makes sense for these two to be in balance, right? In order for this divine masculine to to be ready to reconnect with divine feminine they are preparing themselves very quickly because they know that this divine feminine is ready they already sense that divine feminine has stepped into the energy of the queen queen meaning higher vibration the best version of themselves 
They already did the things that they needed to do on their spiritual path to get to where they're at. This is a divine feminine who has released this connection to the divine and continue to grow on their journey. They released the expectation of the reunion. They continued on their journey. Self-love, self-fulfillment. A strong, a strong divine feminine who sees the connection as something that is truly divine, sees the connection as something that is already in union. Whether they are or are not in union in 3D, this divine feminine has accepted the connection in full reunion. And because of that, this divine masculine energetically senses that this divine feminine has stepped into the role of the queen. It's like this queen has made it. This queen has made it to where they're supposed to be. So it's only fair for me to step into the role of the king. So this divine masculine has put in the work, effort, energetically, and intuitively they knew that they needed to step away from this karmic situation. And they started to work on themselves. Their self-love, their self, self-nourishment, the wellness. And what followed that? Abundance. They started to draw in manifest things of the same because when they raised their vibration they started attracting their abundance there was no longer an energetic block to receiving so this divine masculine i see this divine masculine is very abundant in this reading this is a king this is a strong king who is truly abundant abundant in happiness abundant in peace Abundant in love, abundant in even in coins, so material worth. There's a lot of material gain here. But that's not their priority, right? The material is not their priority. It's just something that is being drawn to them because they have manifested, because energetically they have put out the abundance energy. They are attracting abundance because that's what they're giving out there. They have given in abundance. This is a divine masculine who's become a giver. There are a group of people here in this reading who know that something was unfairly done. People talk about it. I see here people talk about it. They may be gossiping about it. They may have exchange information or they may be calling each other, emailing each other, texting each other. There's something about knowing that something was unfairly done. It's connected to this karmic person and divine masculine. There's gossip going ar around about these two. Something about someone leaving, somebody traveling, somebody being at a distance. This distance has to do with divine mask. In some cases, this divine mask left, physically moved away from divine feminine to be with the karmic person. That created some sort of close to a connection or a situation with divine feminine here. The moment this divine mask walked away from divine feminine, that's the moment that this masculine's journey started. It didn't start with you, Divine Feminine. It started the moment that they walked away from you. Why? Because the moment that they walked away from you, I see here, it was, this masculine was tested. I see here, pushed out of an immature kind of energy and pushed into something that was for this Divine Masculine's growth to grow, basically to grow up fast. Even if it took time, but the, I feel like the amount of growth that the Divine Masculine had, maturity, spiritual growth, during your separation, it is huge. Because this Masculine is a king now. It may have taken time, but they have done a lot to get to where they're at. And there is some, there is something that's going to bring these two together. Because... 
Divine Feminine, you're a queen here. You're ready. You're ready to restore the connection. You're ready for reunion. Though you are doing your own thing, but I feel like this Divine Feminine will be there with open arms when this Divine Feminine sees this Divine Masculine in the form of the King. There's, there's going to be comparison. I see here Divine Feminine thinking about the past, how masculine used to be, and thinking about how Divine Masculine is when they see them in the 3D. It's like, wow, there is a huge difference between the two. This Divine Masculine, who they've become now, is unrecognizable. This is someone who I've imagined for myself. This is someone who I've always dreamt of. It's like, I thought I was in love with the old Divine Masculine. No, who's who's that Masculine? Masculine who? <laughs> the past Masculine, who's that? The Masculine who? It's like, no, I prefer this King Divine Masculine. This is the real deal here. This is my true love here. Because when these two connect, it's like you will have soul recognition. Because now you are tapping into this this part of yourself that is the authentic you, this is the soul recognition. This is where you will see the divine masculine for who they really are. It's like you get to actually see it in, in 3D form. Energetically, you knew. You always had that inner knowing of what your divine masculine can become. But once this divine masculine has become it, has stepped into the king, it's like now I see you. Now I can see my Divine Masculine. It's like, now I remember you. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. And thank you all for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye, everyone.